Okay, now we are going to create our first application in Hibernate. So before going to create our first application, we have to create a data, we have to create a table in our database. So here I am going to create a table in MySQL database. I first I log in into MySQL database. So I use that database use my DB that is our database name and here I'm going to create a table create table user user info first first field is ID it is integer type and it is not null also make it as the primary key second field is name and it is variable character type of size 50 and third column name is address this data type is worker of size 50 okay so here I create a table with first column ID it is primary key of integer type second one is worker it is second one is address of variable character type name variable character type okay I create the table okay so we can see the structure of the table describe user info first column is ID of primary key second one is name and third one is address okay now we are going to insert one row of data into this table using hibernate framework okay so let us go to eclipse so here we already created a project called hibernate demo and we already set up an hibernate cfg.xml file and one thing we leave here is the hibernate mapping file field we have to add the map name of the mapping file here in this hibernate cfg.xml file so now we have to create the pojo classes for inserting data so I right click the src folder and choose the new option and select the new java class option so I name the classes insert I name this data provider and click finish sorry before going to create that class we have to create a package it is in default package I just remove this class We don't need this package, I delete that package also. Okay, now I'm going to create a new Java class, new class. I name it as data provider and place it place it in a package my pack and click finish. Now we got a package here called mypack and inside that package we got the class called data provider.java. So <coughs> the pojo class always contain private fields only. So here I am going to create three private fields. Private int user id. Second one is private <coughs> private int username that one is sorry username is not integer it is string type third variable private string user address okay now we have to set the setter and getter method for these three fields so right click and choose the source option here is the source option and select the getter and setter methods here is here it is generate getters and setters select that option and choose all these variables 
and click OK. Now we got all the getter and setter methods for these variables. First one is user ID and here is the getter method of username. Here is the setter method of username. Okay, we got all that methods. And now we have to create, uh, yes, now we have to create the mapping file for this POJO class. So right click the SRC folder and choose other option and from the XML folder choose an XML file and click next. Here you need to provide the file name. Here I name the file as user.hbm.xml and click finish. Now we got an XML file here. I already create a structure of this XML file. I copy this structure. Now paste it here. Okay. Now we here in this project we got a mapping file so we have to update the name of the mapping file in the configuration file so go to hypernet cft.xml file so at the bottom of the xml file you can see here it is mapping resource you have to provide the mapping resource xml file name here our mapping file name is user.hbm.xml okay now we complete all the configuration in the Hibernate cfg.xml file. Okay. Now we have to create another Java class file for inserting, for applying our logics. So right click the package and choose the new Java class option. And I name the class as data insertion and this is the main class so we have to add the main method so here publish static void main is needed also it is in the package my pack and click finish now we got another java class in the same package called data insertion here you need to implement all the logics to insert data using the pojo class so here in this class I'm going to create another method public void insert info okay so the first step <coughs> for interacting with the hibernate you have to register the hibernate cfg.xml file so for registering the hibernate cfg.xml file you need an object of class called the configuration so you need an object here object of configuration it is corresponding to it is corresponding to org.hibernate.cfg package so configuration con equal to new configuration okay now by using this object you have to register the config.xml file so con dot there is a method called config con dot config and pass the xml file name configuration xml file name our configuration xml file name is hibernate cfc dot xml so pass that value hibernate dot cfg dot xml okay now we need another object called the section factory object so you have to create an object of section factory it is corresponding to org dot hibernate package session factory sf equal to you can initialize the section factory object using the configuration object con dot build section factory so now we got an object of section factory okay this method is now deprecated okay we uh, we have to find an alternative for this okay uh, now it is okay we can it, uh, e, now it is deprecated but it still works 
okay and now we got an object of session factory now we need to create an object of session using this session factory so session I name it as session equal to sf dot there is a method called open section now we got an object of session okay now we have to create an object of the pojo class here the pojo class name is data provider so data provider data provider I name it as provider equal to new data provider and now we have to insert the data now we have to call the setter method of the data provider class so provider provider dot set user id i pass the user id as 121 now we have to set the username so provider dot set username I put my name now we have to set the user address so provider dot set user address I put it as Kerala okay so now for completing this transaction you need an object of transaction so we have to create an object of transaction here transaction it is also corresponding to org.hibernet always make sure that you choose the class name from the correct hibernet package only transaction tr equal to and using the session we have to initialize the transaction section session dot begin transaction the transaction object is for committing the transaction so now we have to save the object so in hibernate instead of passing individual data using sql queries here we just save an object of a class here we are going to save an object of the pojo class using hibernate so for saving the object just using the session object session dot there is a method called save and pass the object name here the object name is provider provider is the object of the pojo class and all these field id and name and address are the properties of these objects and now when this is statement executed all the all the object properties are saved into the database called mydb okay now we have to we have to complete the transaction so tr dot commit now we have to close the session session dot close now we have to close the session factory sf dot close here I print a message system dot out dot print ln object save successfully okay so now we have to make some configuration in the mapping file so go to the user hpm.xml here you have to provide the pojo class name and the table name here our pojo class name is my pack dot data provider
and our table name is what is the database table name you have to check it our database table name is user info so you have to provide the database table name user info that is the database table name here is the first property is id you have to provide the primary field primary key field in the database in the table so in our table the primary key field is id so you have to pass the pojo class field here our primary key field in the pojo class is user id we have to check it yeah the integer variable is user id that is the primary key field in our table in our pojo class so it is user id and the column name in the table is id okay here is a generator class option is available we will discuss it in the later in the coming up modules now you have to specify other column names also in properties the first property in the pojo class is username and corresponding column name in the table is name there is one more property called address so you have to add one more property here the second property name is user address and corresponding column name in table is address okay now we complete all the coding now we can run the run the application so right click the java class data provider not data insertion so before going to call that you have to call that method called insert info in the main method so new data insertion dot insert info okay now we can run the program so data provider dot java right click it and run us you have to save it so it is not data provider it is the data insertion class that contain the main method so right click run us java application okay here we got the message object saved successfully now we can go to the database and check it so here i am going to view the content of the table select start from our table name is user info okay here we got it now we successfully insert one row of data into this table using hibernate